Today, we're exploring the San Francisco Peninsula, which is home to Silicon Valley, the global center of high tech and innovation. It's also home to Stanford University, as well as numerous museums, arts, culture, and some of the best food in the Bay Area. Let's go explore. San Mateo County, San Francisco Peninsula. Come join us. Our first stop is the Redwood City downtown, which has a beautiful history museum. Oh my goodness, Mike, where are we? We are at the San Mateo County History Museum here in downtown Redwood City. Isn't this amazing? It used to be a courthouse. And this is the Rotunda. Look at this beautiful stained glass and what film was filmed here. This is Doubtfire. Come join us. Ooh. Going in to the San Mateo Japanese Garden. We are inside the tea garden right now. It was free entry. It's very peaceful in here. There's kind of a meditative quality. The fountains are going behind us, and a lot of people are doing photo shoots. The Japanese garden feels like a sanctuary. It includes a koi pond, pagoda, and tea house. So we are on the Stanford campus. We're exploring. There's a lot of cool buildings. So one of my favorite things about visiting the Stanford campus is there is a free Rodin sculpture garden. It's really beautiful. The sculpture garden makes us feel as though we've traveled back to 19th century France. And if you like this video so far, be sure to smash that thumbs up button and subscribe for more travel videos. This one is one of his most famous pieces. It's called the Three Shades. This bump. This right here is the Cantor Art Center. This beautiful, stunning marble staircase. We are inside the Cantor Art Center and it's free entry. You have to reserve your ticket online though, but wow. We have a bird's eye view of an Ellsworth Kelly sculpture. Love these watercolor paintings done by Jade Fawn Wu. in Canada, massive tour of So we just finished up at the museum and it's so amazing to have a museum of this quality for free on a college campus. San Francisco Peninsula. <laughs> and so now we're walking around Stanford and just the landscaping here on this campus is gorgeous. Highly recommend checking it out. Stanford University has played a leading role in the growth and development of the Silicon Valley, and it was founded in 1885. My goodness, look how beautiful this campus is. Can you spot all of the little hidden hearts and homes? The 17-acre main quad is the oldest part of the campus and is designed with an architecturally innovative set of connected buildings. One of the highlights of the campus is the memorial church done in Romanesque style and gold leaf mosaics. We went surfing and went to Stanford in one day. It's pretty amazing. This is the Arizona gardens on the Stanford campus. All of these different varieties of cactus here. I can't believe they have a cactus garden of that quality on campus and it's free. Alpino Spritz, cheers guys. The pasta here is made in-house. 
Hey guys, we are at Pausa. This means pause in Italian and it's in San Mateo. And they're really famous for their pastas here. Mike got a pasta dish. They make it all in house and their menu changes all the time. And I'm trying to flounder. So excited to try it. Perfectly cooked. Look at those big, thick noodles, and we have seafood mixed in. How was it? This is the sorbet trio with blueberry, raspberry, and pear. And the panna cotta. Welcome to the Four Seasons Palo Alto. Let me show you around. We have this beautiful 10th floor suite, luxurious king size bed beautiful TV and seating area and let me show you the back. Whoa! You have a beautiful jacuzzi spa and it's all decked out with all of the spa amenities. Two sinks, luxurious corner shower. Wow, this hotel and spa, amazing. The Four Seasons includes a state-of-the-art gym with a purified water station, fresh towels, and every piece of equipment you can possibly imagine. Hey guys, we are at Quattro at the Four Seasons Palo Alto. This is a beautiful restaurant. We are getting some delicious brunch. And it's all decked out for Christmas. And you can see outside they have the apres ski that we enjoyed last night. Quattro is all decked out in winter chic decor. We grabbed some cappuccinos and California omelets, as well as an indulgent stack of fresh pancakes for brunch. Look at how fluffy these are. This is the pool at the Four Seasons Palo Alto, and it is heated to 85 degrees. You can see the steam lifting off. And over here, there's even a fitness area for outdoor fitness. This is one of the most beautiful and thoughtful hotels I've ever been to. The service is superb and it's so thoughtful. Like they left us a cookie in our room and right by the elevators, they had hot apple cider and hot peppermint tea. Just everything you could ever think of. They're so willing and happy to help their guests and even when you call them on the phone they answer right away and it's the little things all the little touches like they even provided sunscreen here by the pool and aloe vera gel and water the service the quality of the food the beverage the beautiful bedding nice views everything was a plus six seven star service we definitely recommend it come check this nice. hotel out see you there's guys there's such a zen quality to this hotel if you want to feel relaxed and rejuvenated in the silicon valley come here to the four seasons palo alto now it's time to take you on a little journey to a surprise hidden gem here on the san francisco peninsula We are headed to Las Pulgas Water Temple. Let's Join us. go! This marks where the Hetch Hetchy Aqueduct ends. We have a little bit of grease here in the San Francisco Peninsula. Look at this water tower. Wow. Between this water tower and Fioli, I feel like I'm in Europe. I give waters in the wilderness and rivers in the desert to give drink to my people. It's very spiritual. So this is a very historic site. Las Pulgas Water Temple marks a major endpoint of the Hetch Hetchy Regional Water System, which carries snow melt 167 miles across the state through a complex system of tunnels and pipelines. Wow, and you can hear the water. It's so interesting to me how in the San Francisco Peninsula, you go from kind of this corporate urban area 
with these cute downtowns to one of the most rural parts in literally like 10 minutes. For dinner, we're trying the Osteria at Domenico Winery, an Italian eatery known for its elegant but relaxed atmosphere and delicious wood-fired pizzas made here right in front of us. Our mouths were watering as we watched the pizza fire up in the oven with the crispy, bubbly crust and the melty cheese in the middle. Got the Regina pizza, it's got burrata on top. It melts in your mouth. The restaurant has an open kitchen and we watch as the chefs prepare the crab cakes, which are deliciously encrusted and tender inside. We top it off with a cannoli before heading across the street to the Russian Ridge Wine Tasting Room, which produces and sources its wine right here from the Santa Cruz Mountains. We try the tasting flight, which is $18, and walk away with a bottle of the Pinot Noir, perfect souvenir for visiting the San Francisco Peninsula. So we are wrapping up our time in the SF Peninsula. We hope that you get a chance to visit very soon. Links in the descriptions on all of the restaurants and places we visited in this trip. And be sure to like, thumbs up, and subscribe for more travel videos. Ooh.